The Parkland shooting happened at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in 2018. 17 people were killed, and now some people see this silent alert system as a response to what happened in Uvalde as well, when the police radios were basically considered a failure. This is similar to bills in other states that have been already adopted. Senate Bill 838 will require all public and charter schools to install the silent intruder alert technology in their classrooms by the 2025-2026 school year. State Representative Sean Theory is the House sponsor of the bill. She says almost 95% of school districts in the state have applied to receive funding. She says state lawmakers and the governor have provided more than a billion dollars in grant money to prevent this safety upgrade from becoming an unfunded mandate. Alyssa's parents were among those at Tuesday's bill signing alongside the governor. State lawmakers also closed a gun purchase background check loophole involving juvenile crime records. Lori Alhadef, Alyssa's mother, believes Texas can do more. Florida has raised the legal age to buy a long gun to 21, matching the federal handgun law. Seconds really matter, time equals life, and we to need to make sure that we get EMS to the scene to triage any of the victims or law enforcement to go and take down the shooter. School safety is a layered approach, and I think by increasing the age from 18 to 21 is one of those layers will help to make the school safer here in Texas, and we did it in Florida, and I, I believe we could also do it here in Texas. Legislation was also passed requiring schools to have armed security guards on campus, but critics of the law say not enough money was poured into school funding for those armed security guards, and civil rights advocates say that this could cause discrimination cases. Reporting at the state capitol, Kelly Saberi, Fox 7 Austin News.